Now we got the front wheel scotched. We've got the transmission in neutral. And we got the assistant jacking up the left rear. And we only, that's good, right there, one tire. All right, we got one tire off the ground and the other tire is on the ground. Go ahead and turn the tire and make sure it turns all right. Okay. Either way. All right. So, if she turns the tire, the drive shaft should turn. All right, go ahead. And that's how we're going to check our gear ratio. All right, here's how we're going to go about checking our gear ratio. I had to do some more looking on the internet to figure it out. What I did before is I rotate the tire once and I counted the revolution to the drive shaft and that's inaccurate. So what I found out is we need to turn the tire and till the drive shaft does two full revolutions. We count the number of times that the tire was turned and we use a little math to uh, calculate the gear ratio. So let's do that now. Right. So here's our bottom marker we bring it all the way back around that's one full revolution we want the drive shaft to be two revolutions so let's count turns of the tire for two revolutions of the drive shaft there's one turn of the drive shaft and we're about three quarters There's one revolution. And we're back. So from here around it's one and up to here it's probably 0.3. So let's see. found my calculator so let me use this okay so we take uh, let's say 1.3 1 divided by 1.3 1 divided by 1 point and that's seven point seven six nine. Point seven six nine. And then we multiply that by four. Don't ask me why. Times Four equals, and there it is. We got 308 gear ratios. That's what, exactly what I thought. Damn 308s. So definitely, I need to upgrade. 373 is probably in my picture. The reason 373, because these years didn't come with the 411, um, and a quarter ton axle. So, uh, I'm wanting to try to do as an easy a swap as I can without replacing outers and hubs and all this other shit. So, um, I'm going to get some 373s and bolt up. And the largest tire I'll go with is probably a 33 inch in diameter. I'll end up swapping um, my rims to 16 inch rims. And, uh getting some 16 inch metric tires that are closer in spec to the uh, height and width that I want. I'd like to have something like a 33 by 1050 or 33 by 1150 so 
I'll do some searching and see what metric size tires I can accommodate to get me uh, close to that size. But really, I think 33 is about all I really want right now. Uh, 411s may be a little overkill. This is my daily driver, so uh, I think 373s and some 31 and 32 inch tires for the time being will be perfectly fine. The 308s is killing it. Uh, there's not enough gearing for the uh, engine to really produce the power it needs to move the vehicle efficiently and therefore the engine um, has to work harder to move the vehicle because there's not as much gearing advantage. It also puts a lot more stress on the 700 R4 with a whole lot more torque going through the transmission to move the truck with the lower gear ratio. You'll probably actually see, um, not only will I see power increase with 373, with 6.2 liter diesel, I probably will also see uh, improved fuel economy. So that's it for today. We figured out our gearing ratio. And let's go over that one more time. You take uh, two revolutions of the drive shaft. You count how many revolutions of the tire. One wheel's jacked up, one wheel's not. How many revolutions of the tire it takes to. Uh, Turn the drive shaft twice, you take one, divide it by that number, in my case it was one, divided by 1.3, gave me the number 0 0.769, 0 0.769 times four, and that's your gear ratio. Now if you have a locker or a posi locker rear end, raise both tires, and I'm not sure if the gear ratio's calculation is going to be the same, I think it is. Nah, then again, probably not. Uh, check your interweb and uh, see what you come up with, but this is for open diff uh, visible axle. No problem